Welcome to the CBS show. It's the CBS show. Helping you expand on what you know. Throw in a meme of the week and a review of the screen. And you have a show that covers everything. Hey, hey, Team Stevia, and welcome to episode 111 of the Stevia show. A talk show a podcast that covers pop culture, world news, local artistry, and everything in between. As always, this is Steven. <laughs> And this is Lydia. <laughs> and we hope everybody is having a great day. And thank you so much to Cody for being on our last episode where we yes. basically uh, fought Ted Cruz. Um, and we won. And we won. I think I think pretty <laughs> much anybody could beat Ted Cruz in a fight, but especially oh, yeah. us. Especially, especially us. us. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get our um, sponsorships out of the way. So funding for the Stevia show was brought to you in part by the following. Bravado Wireless is your go-to when it comes to all things connected. Whether it's a new phone, home internet, or smart accessories, Bravado Wireless has it all. Right now, you can get a Samsung A11, a Samsung 20 FE, or an iPhone 11 at half the cost. That's right, 50% off any of these phones throughout February. <laughs> For more information, call your local Bravado Wireless store or head to bravadowireless.com. Again, that is bravadowireless.com. As well as community members like you, Remember, you can support us on Anchor or Patreon for as little as 99 cents a month. Thanks. Yes, we really appreciate all the support. And speaking of Anchor and Patreon producers, we also had Cody on for the bonus episode where yeah. we learned a lot about criminal justice reform. Uh, yeah, so that was super educational, but like in an awesome way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think we have, I think, uh, you, um, I mean, I for sure learned a lot from him. Oh um, yeah, easily. Yeah, so much. Yeah, it was a really good. It was a really good bonus episode and really good regular episode. Uh, yep. We we are it's recording fun. early this week, so we do not have a meme yes, of the week. Um, but be sure to check out our Instagram for the winner. Um, we will post it on there, but no meme, no meme of the week today. No meme of the week. Well, I do have a media review. Um, it's not any anything new though, because I just stumbled upon it in my endless quest to find something to watch on TV. Because you know me, there's nothing to watch ever because I've seen it all. Um, so Outlander, and I just I am sad I slept on the show for so long. I'm gonna describe it and then I'll talk to you about my notes. Um, after serving as a British Army nurse in World War II. Claire Randall is enjoying a second honeymoon in Scotland with husband Frank, an MI6 officer looking forward to a new career as an Oxford historian. Suddenly, Claire is transported to 1743 and into a mysterious world where her freedom and life are threatened. To continue, she marries Jamie Fraser, a strapping Scots warrior with a complicated past and a disarming sense of humor. A passionate relationship ensues, and Claire is caught between two vastly different men and two inharmonious lives. Outlander is adapted from the best-selling books by Diana Gabaldon. So like I said before, I am so sad that I've slept on the show for so long. It's intriguing, scandalous, full of attractive men and women. The storyline is awesome. There's lots of twists and turns, and I'm still only in season one. How many seasons are there? There are five seasons so far. I think they're working on their sixth season. This show has been out since 2014. And I just don't know where I've been. And well, I'm sad about it. Well, that's good. That you, um, is it still going? Still going, I, I think. I think it's still going. I would assume. It's so good. Um, it's on Netflix. You can watch it as of right now. And there is just, it's just, it, it, I watched like four episodes and all of a sudden four hours went by. And I was like, oh my gosh. Matt was like, you're still watching this. And I was like, I am. Hello. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> So I've scored it as a 9.5 out of 10 and Rotten Tomatoes uh, is an 87%, which actually was the lowest score um, than any of the other like reviewer places I look at. Like IMDb was at like a nine, uh, they had it at a 9.3 out of 10. The audience score is like a 93% just in general. So if you're looking for something to watch because you're bored like me, Outlander is great. It's a great binge because all the seasons are out right now. <laughs> um, and and what's it on? <clears throat> Netflix. 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 Okay. It's on Netflix. Yeah, easy. Cool. Everybody has Netflix these days, you know. Everybody has Netflix. <laughs> that's a pretty safe bet. Absolutely. <laughs> pretty safe bet. So, that's yeah. it. it. Awesome. So today we do have a myriad of topics to discuss. I think we have what eight bullet points yeah so eight bullet points and they're all so random yeah and we're <laughs> yeah so we're excited to talk about um talk about these today uh so lydia let's go ahead and start with you what do you have 
Oh my gosh, you guys, you know how I love all things Marvel. So Marvel Cinematic Universe update, they finally announced the new Spider-Man movie title and it was hilarious. So it's Spider-Man No Way Home, which by the way, we have Spider-Man Homecoming with Tom Holland, Spider-Man Far From Home, and now we have Spider-Man No Way Home and speculations are it's the multiverse in action. And um, anyways, so what they did was Tom Holland, who's Spider-Man is notorious for ruining in like giving away secrets. Right. And so they gave Tom Holland, Zendaya and Jacob who plays Ned in the, in the show, all, they gave them all a different screenshot of a title and was like, okay, you post, you can post this at two o'clock on Friday or whatever. And so they all posted at the same time and they realized that they all got different ones. So they're commenting on each other's Instagram, like, wait, what the heck? And so they realized it. And so then the next day, um, so they did that so no one can spoil it. And then the next day they released a hilarious video of Tom and Zendaya and, and Jacob coming out and being like, yeah, if they gave us a fake one again and like <laughs> talking. So if you haven't seen the video, it's hilarious, but we're super stoked. Spider-Man No Way Home, and it comes out this December. Awesome. Um, so for those of us who might not be as well versed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, what is the multiverse? Okay, so the multiverse is the theory in Marvel that there are multiple universes and that you can you there is a Spider-Man, there's a Spider-Man in every universe. So there's also a Doctor Strange in every universe, but Doctor Strange is one of the the wizards that actually can go in between the universes. So, uh. so the multiverse is like they bring it up a few times. They bring it up in the last Spider-Man. Um, there, uh, we think that Wandavision is leading up to it. Um, and then Doctor Strange's new movie is Doctor Strange's in the madness in the multiverse of madness. So basically, if you watch Wandavision, I can't really. Sp- I can't spoil it, but they think that a big plot in one division is that somebody went and grabbed another Quicksilver out of a universe because Wanda recognized this guy as her brother, but he wasn't the original Pietro, right? Mm. So with um, Spider-Man No Way Home 2, if you, there's been site, you know, there's been a whole bunch of talk that Tobey Maguire is going to be in it that Andrew Garfield's going to be in it. So their theory, it's kind of like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. So that was a multiverse. <clears throat> That's thing. a multiverse. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. So does the multiverse only apply to Spider-Man or is it for all of these superheroes? No, all the superheroes. It's okay. multi, like, it would be like, there's a Steven and Lydia in an- another universe doing the exact same thing that we do now. Only it might be like reverse. Like you Only might- it might be reverse. Like I might be the boy and you might be the girl. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So it's just like a multiverse theory. And so it's throughout the whole MCU and there's a whole bunch of comic books and all kinds of stuff. So that's what we think is like, we think something big is about to happen at the end of Wandaverse or Wandaverse, WandaVision. <laughs> the Wandaverse, um, hell yeah. And then Doctor Strange's actual title is Multiverse of Madness. So we like know the multiverse is about to come into play. Okay. Gotcha. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, will this incorporate like Wait. Deadpool and X Men and all of that into. The that's, MCU or that's a theory. Okay, gotcha. Because like that's a theory. Because X Men, Fantastic Four, Deadpool, like they've been all like in their own lane, essentially. Correct. Correct. And yeah. Is that why they Until were until sca- recently? Oh, because of because of a certain television show. Um, right. Yeah. Um, now, was Spider Man in that same lane until Spider Man Homecoming got released? Because um, because the Spider-Man, um, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man's got released during the MCU, but Andrew Garfield sure. Spider-Man wasn't part of the right. Avengers until Tom Holland. Yeah. So a lot of things, a lot of things people actually don't know is that um, uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, and Tom Holland Spider-Man are all different comic book Spider-Mans. Ah, so, okay. um, like Toby Maguire, Spider-Man is like Spider-Man when he's older, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man is like Spider-Man when he's college and Tom Holland, Spider-Man is like early Spider-Man, like high school Spider-Man. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, awkward kid Spider-Man. And so, um, I would say that those, yes, because also Spider-Man was owned by Sony uh. until Marvel and Sony made the agreement to get Spider-Man 
in the MCU. And that's kind of, that's why Tom Holland though, I think that's why Tom, well, Tom Holland does the best Spider-Man by far, but I also think that's why um, he's gotten to be in the event, the actual Avengers movies is because Sony and in Marvel had that deal with his right. certain character. <clears throat> right. And I remember us covering that because originally there weren't, they weren't going to do the deal and that pissed off everybody because both Disney and Sony were being greedy. Yes. And, yeah. And it, Tom Holland called them and was like, Hey, listen, <laughs> right. We need to fix this. That's um, awesome. I want to do this and this is what we need to do. And so he, I, from, I, but from what I remember, he's the one who kind of like fixed it, made it like better. And so he could be in it. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, essentially he the, those Spider-Mans were in their own lane, but now I think since Sony and Disney have made that thing, if Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire show up as Spider-Mans, it's going to be like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, but MCU. So we'll also get Doctor Strange, we might get uh, Electro, we might get like all kinds of, you know, and they brought back J. Jonah Jameson, right, right. from Spider-Man, uh, from all the any Spider-Man, right? And J. I, Jonah Jameson is played by the same guy, right? And I thought that the, uh, Jamie Foxx and Alfred Molina have already signed on to reprise their roles. Yes, they have. Okay, so more than likely, we're getting all three of them. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it, to me, it wouldn't make sense to have a villain from each cinematic universe and then not have at least a cameo of all three Spider-Men. Exactly. So that would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah. So the multiverse like opens up so much crazy stuff. But the thing about MCU right now too, is that um, if they open up the multiverse, then they're also playing, they're playing with the multiverse theory and time travel theory because of Endgame, right? Right. And Doctor Strange. So it's like, there's going to be lots of, it's going to get very confusing. And so hopefully they do it in a way that it's, that people will understand what's happening. Right. Cause the last MCU movie that came out was home was far from home. Right. We haven't had anything since Correct. film wise yeah. since far from home. Film so, wise since far from home. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So it went in game and then went far from home and then WandaVision. But we learned that in game that far from home is like months after in game, mm -hmm. but WandaVision is weeks after in game. Ah, so okay. they're filling in between in game and far from home and do you know off the top of your head which one's coming next like what what the next mcu movie coming out is so we've got falcon and the winter soldier coming out um which is a show right after wandavision and okay. then um i'm pretty sure spider-man is going to be the first mcu film okay this year gotcha so it'll be back to back spider -Man. i could be wrong I believe it's back to back Spider Man, but I can look it up really quick. Okay. MCU Films, twenty twenty one. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and talk about the next thing while you look uh, look that up. Yeah. Um. So next up, um, unfortunately, um, Daft Punk has announced that they are splitting up. So they are, of course, a legendary house slash electronic duo. Um, they called it a career last week after two decades of lots of different hits and also appearing in movies such as uh, Tron Legacy, where they didn't even have to get their costumes because they their costumes already looked like part of the Tron movie. Um, yeah, they so, do. Th so that was pretty cool. Um, so um, thank you, Daft Punk, for the years of the mo of memories and music. We appreciate it and we wish them both the best of luck in their career. But what would have been cool, though, is if they would have passed on the helmets to like two other people and they just kept Daft Punk going on and on and on, you that know, would have been cool. because like, because I think the last time Daft Punk's been photographed without their helmets on was back in the 1990s. So, oh, wow. yeah, so they could just, just easily continue easily Daft Punk as on. a tradition. But oh, well, but good for them for a very successful career. Yes. Um, so we've got Falcon and the Winter Soldier, March 19th. Black Widow has her standalone movie, May 7th. But I think that Black Widow movie is pre a prequel or during uh, like the MCU phase uh, where, you know, how she became Black Widow. Okay. And then we have Loki, but that is a show. Um, show. And then we have Shanghai says July 9th and then the eternals and then spider-man okay um so really the big movies i mean i'm excited for all of them but black widow is gonna be the next one for movies supposedly they still could move it i don't know if to... and that's all this for article 20... could be wrong and that's all from 2020 oh, that's all for 2021 
Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a well, big year. They, they say Hawkeye's still on the list for 2021, but I think it's been moved. Gotcha. So, yeah. Exciting, especially after the year of nothingness last year. Absolutely. The year of tragedy. The year of tragedy. As I like to say. Yeah. Um, but good year news. Of movie tragedy. Um, and good news, though, um, the Mars rover lands. Um, so, so cool. Yeah, very cool. So the rover Perseverance, um, it launched back on July 30th, 2020, and it landed on Mars on February 18th. Uh, so that is super cool. The images that we've gotten from Perseverance is rad. It's just so amazing. I mean seeing like the red sand and just the what it and it's like you can see it's high definition like right awesomeness in the video they did like the circle video of nighttime mars mm -hmm. and the milky way and you could see oh it it's was so, so cool yeah, it's if so you guys beautiful. haven't looked at it you need to look it up because it is it makes you double check it's like you you know you're just a pea in the in the <laughs> universe right we're just a little grain of sand you know if that <laughs> yeah so yeah because yeah. like because like looking at the milky way on mars is just because like mars has no no has no noise pollution has no light pollution so they're, yeah. they're able to it's see literally all of that beautiful and yeah just all the stars you know did you hear the noises that they they posted mm -hmm. too yeah weird very eerie yeah, so, Very. so for sure, go check out the Perseverance images and videos. It's amazing. Um, so next on the docket, and you know, sometimes we like to be a little risque here at the Stevia show. So I'm going to bring up, show I'm going to bring shoulders, up, yeah, you know, you stuff know, like that. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna, as I'm sitting here in a hoodie, um, I'm going to bring up a topic that might be controversial. Uh, so the iconic Mr. Potato Head toy going gender neutral. Hasbro announced Thursday that the company is officially dropping the Mr. from the Mr. Potato Head brand name to make sure all feel welcome in the Potato Head world. So, Stephen, I'm going to ask a question. Okay, what's up? How far is too far? Is this really necessary? Why not make multiple genders of Potato Head variety? You know... At the end of the day, I don't care about the potato head thing. Uh, okay, I don't know, care either, you know, but I'm just like, dang, like, no, no, Mr. I, potato Head, like, why you gotta, yeah, why? Yeah, I see what you're saying, but, like, we already have, like, a Mr. and a Mrs. Potato Head, but the thing is, is, like, it's the same toy, just rebranded. So, if, right. it, if, if anything, it should just be Potato Head, and then you just buy the accessories. To, to make it whatever you want? To, right, right. To me, this makes more sense. Because, oh. because why would you want to buy a Mr. Potato Head and then buy a Mrs. Potato Head whenever the little brown spud is the, it's literally the exact same the thing. The exact same. It's just mm. bought with different accessories. So yeah. like, why not just buy a blank Potato Head and then buy the accessories that you want? That is such a good point. I didn't even think about that. Well, yeah. I was stuck on why, why when we have a Mr. Potato Head and a Mrs. Potato Head, why can't we just make other Potato Heads? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. My video went off. Okay, here I am. I don't know what happened. Yeah, well, because then I, I don't know, because then if you had like Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, and then Mrs. Potato Head, like I think that would take up too much retail space. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just thinking about it from like a no, logistics standpoint. No, I completely agree. If that's so, how they're going to do it, sell the spud and then sell the accessories. Well, does that, not, does, that, does, that right? does that just not make more sense? I mean, yeah, like, it why, makes a lot of sense, I guess. Like, why would you have to buy a Mrs. Potato Head if you already owned a Mr. Potato Head? Well, I think the when point you can swap too, them all out in general, it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, but I also think it was like also geared for people who maybe don't want to play with a mr and mrs they want to be gender neutral they want to you know yeah so honestly i think this way accommodates everybody i mean it yep you're right it does yeah i mean i mean i just can't think of any like 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 to me like if i were the potato what are they going to do about mr potato head well i guess that doesn't matter because, because andy andy built mr potato head right right and yeah because like and because mrs potato head is it, again it, it's the same base. I got you. Yeah, it's the same base. And they, they, all, they all have like the little holes in them and you can put whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm behind you on this one. It yeah. took me a solid moment. So I'm glad we talked about it because now the rest of the Stevia listeners can also agree with Steven because they were like, they were in the beginning being like, yeah, Lydia, why? Why would, why do they need to do that? Is this too far? And then Steven comes and just like washes it all the way and is like, no, this <laughs> makes more sense. And this is why we have Steven on our team. Well, yes, because we are the dream team and we are here to talk about children's toys and what doesn't, <laughs> and what doesn't, yes. doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. 
Um, so that's rad. And then speaking of rad, um, the U.S. Pa- uh, passes, excuse me, U.S. House passes legislation protecting LGBT plus rights. Uh, so what's going on there, Lydia? Okay, well, I don't know if it's the LGBTQIA+, because the bill doesn't include those. Oh, the no. bill only says LGBT. So that's something we might need to look up because the bill literally, it only went the whole article I read and it was like a CNN real article. Mm-hmm. It only says the whole time LGBT. It doesn't say any of the QIA plus. So I don't know about that, but huh. the equality act is what it's called. And it prohibits LGBT discrimination, but is unlikely to pass the Senate is what everybody's saying. Um, because it, the same bill was shot down in 2017, but we have a new, you know, we have a new system here, so it might not. Go ahead. You want to say something? Oh, no, no I was just going to say, yeah, because the Senate is uh, is split 50-50 and Kamala Harris is the tiebreaker. So it might pass this time. It might pass, but there might be some Democrats that go the other way. We don't yeah. know. Cough, cough, Joe Manchin, who's yeah. basically a so- Republican. <sighs> The act specifically provides non-discrimination protections for LGBT, LGBT, I want to continue on, LGBT people. It would extend into all areas of life, including employment, housing, credit, jury service, and public services. So, you know, the things that everybody else has available Mm -hmm. to them. It just is crazy to me that there's discrimination out there because they're, they want to, you know, I don't know. It makes existing state protections federal and consistent across the nation, which is big too. So, um, so the house passed it, it was a close call. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this, but if it does pass the Senate, it's, it's a huge win for, for human rights. Right, which would be amazing. Um, yeah. But speaking of a huge loss for human rights. Um, huge loss. Yeah, this is going to be our very first. Uh, this is it. Our official first attack on President Joe Biden. So this is it. Write it down. Here we go. Write it down. Um, so again, we, we made you all promise that just because Trump's not in office doesn't mean that we're not going to criticize Joe Biden because here we are today. Um, so President Biden um, is continuing children being separated by parents at the border. So the Washington Post reported on February 26th. Second, um, that dozens of migrant teens boarded vans Monday for the trip down a dusty road to a former man camp for oil field workers there. The first migrant child facility opened under the Biden administration, the emergency facility, a vestige of the Trump administration that was open for only a month in summer 2019, is being reactivated to hold up to 700 kids ages 13 to 17. So I really quick want to pull up a tweet by the Gravel Institute. Mm, um, and, I love a good tweet. And this there's is always some, a tweet. There's Steven. always a tweet, but this one is something that um, that I heavily agree with. So let me go ahead and find it really quick. Is it quick. the thing that you retweeted today? Uh, yesterday, but yes. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, I'm just gonna go to my profile. That'll be easier. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, just at Stephen T. English, if you want to follow me. <laughs> um, so um, <laughs> just here drop it is. That here in it there, is. Here casually. it is. So, yes. Yeah, so basically, the Biden administration has rebranded these child. Uh, they have, re- have rebranded these camps as child detention facilities, which is abhorrent. We, we shouldn't be having these in, in the first place. So the Gravel Institute tweeted on February 23rd stating that if you are defending child child detention facilities under Biden after attacking kids in cages under Trump, you care more about the blue team being in charge than you do about improving people's lives, which is, in my opinion, 100% accurate because this is still children being separated from their families. Like, no matter how yeah, you want to sprinkle like, wh- it, you Why know, are we separating them? Like, what is the point here? Just because it's like, it's deluxe And how many of these cages. children are going to die? Right, exactly. So it's like it's and I saw facilities of them like, yeah, like they might look OK and like like humane, but it's not humane separating children from their parents at the border, you know, and just like Ted well, and children from ages 13 to 17 need their parents. Right. They're not like, even you adults. Cannot, you can't fend for yourself then. Like, that's not. 
Right. So what the hell, Biden administration? I thought he literally said no more kids in cages, but here we he are. Did. Yeah, but here we are. Uh, he's continuing um, under Trump. I guess which... since they moved him from cages to a detention facility, it's different. I don't know. Right, but it's the same thing. There's still children. But it's the exact same thing. Yes, right, exactly. Right. You can't just rebrand something awful and then make it, you know, <laughs> yes. sound better. But yeah, absolutely right. Um, if you support this, uh, you, you care more about the blue team being in charge than you do about improving people's lives because. Obama did it. It wasn't okay then. Trump did it. It wasn't okay then. And now Biden is doing it, and it's not okay now. So still not okay. Still not okay. So there you go. Um, there's a nice uh, three-way attack between all three of our, you know, most it. recent presidents because we should not be doing this. No. Negative. Yeah. And speaking of recent presidents, uh, Trump's <laughs> financial documents. Man, we are doing. We are killing it with these segues today. Um, so CNN reports on February 25th that Trump's tax returns and related documents have been turned over to the Manhattan District Attorney Office. Uh, you want to guess how many pages the documents are? Ooh. Um, are these all of his tax returns? or like all of his assets, like everything. Oh, then it's got to be hundreds of pages. Oh, way more than that. It's over a million pages. A million, a million pages. pages. Well, think oh about it. My. Of all the properties I'm he doing, owns. I do not want to be that lawyer. Those right. lawyers. Any right. lawyer on that case. It'd be easier if it was digitized because I would just hit control F and find what I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, uh, it's not. But yeah. Um, so CNN reports on February 25th. Uh, yes, that it has been handed over to the Manhattan District Attorney. So the documents won't be public yet due to them being part of a grand jury where there must be secrecy. Former President Trump has tried for 17 months to block investigators from obtaining the records, uh, which I mean, I like I'm no legal expert, but if you're trying to keep people from having something that generally means that there's you're, something to you, hide. There's something there that you don't want people to see. Yeah, I saw that the other day. He was like, he tried one more time to get it in. Florida was like, nah, fam, we're sending this over. <laughs> right. Um, and I was like, yeah, Florida, do with something right. <laughs> Absolutely. So the New York District Attorney, Cy Vance, is investigating whether or not Trump and the Trump Organization engaged in monetary fraud. Um, so this is, of course- I'm going to guess that he did. <clears throat> I'm going to guess that he did too, but I'm also going to guess that he will not be punished for it. Um, because he's rich and powerful. But I do, but I do think that maybe when his tra tax returns go public, then he's also going to be swirling in a thousand more other, um, legal act, legal things. Right. So honestly, if we keep just draining him of his money like that, then maybe one day he won't be rich and powerful and he'll actually have to spend some days in jail. Yeah, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but, but definitely if you're trying to hide something for 17 months, then that's not good. Not good. Not no, a good no. look, fam. Uh, so the last thing we have to talk about, Stephen, is I put this on here as a as a as a uh, just little fast little note here. Um, COVID shots. Yes. So Stephen and I both got our COVID shots, our COVID vaccines, and I thought it would be important for us to just chat about it for a second because a lot of people out there are afraid of the COVID shot. They mm -hmm. don't know what's going to happen if they get it. X Y Z, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought it'd be nice to tell the people uh, that we both got it. Yes. Uh, one day apart, I believe. And yes. um, super easy. The whole the whole thing from me sitting in the chair to standing out of the chair was about two minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she went, came in, did the thing, put it in, and was like, all right, I need you to sit outside for 15 minutes. And I was like, all right, easy. Yeah, the whole process took um, like 20 minutes. If you that. do have to sign. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing even sitting in like your little uh waiting room area we took about 20 minutes like i got right. there and she was like all right sign all these things and i was like okay sign 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 mm -hmm. she's like all right come in here she sticks a little circle thing on me yep. sticks the needle in do do done yeah then uh she goes and then you have to sit there for 15 minutes to be watched in case you have an allergic reaction or something right and uh, you got the moderna too so right? easy I got the Moderna. Yeah, we yep. both got the Moderna. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, my only side effect was that my arm was tingly for like two days. That was literally it. Yeah. So that was the side effect I had when she first gave me the shot. It's like I could feel it. Like Dude, I didn't feel it either. Going down my arm. Yeah. No, I could feel oh, you it. You could. I oh, could I didn't. I didn't feel, I didn't the, feel like anything. The juice. The juice. Like, like she. 
no, she like gave me the shot. Didn't feel the shot at all. It was mm-hmm. like, I could feel the vaccine like going through Ugh, and okay. then it was fine. And I left and whatever. And then I woke up on Saturday and my arm was so sore. It felt like I had played powder puff football again. <laughs> and I couldn't lift my arm above my head to shave my armpit. I couldn't do it. I was oh, like, man. ow. <laughs> and, and so my arm was sore for two days by Monday. It was, it was like, it never happened. Yeah. Um, um, and then Matt got it and he did get a little rash around where they, um, where they gave him the shot, which is a side effect, but it went away in a few days too. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Cause like everybody, from what I've heard, the second dose is the one that gives you the more, like more sickness. Um, so the stuff. the stuff, yeah. So we will keep you updated on that. I'm getting my second dose on the 16th of March. Um, so I'll yep, be able to. Mine's the 12th. Gotcha. So we will keep you updated on that. But overall, very pleasant experience. Um, We have not grown radio antennas uh, or anything. We have not been injected with the 5G. uh, So we're we're totally fine. The 5G. Yeah, totally fine. Um, They do say, too, they just came out with a study, too, that says that, and I should have saved it to have a reference but they did say because a lot of women are nervous about it for reproductive purposes but they just came up with a study that said that they don't believe that has any effect on it um and then also they say that if you're a woman and that gets mammograms that if you get the shot don't go get a mammogram for like nine months because one of the side effects is that it could enlarge your lymph node your lymph nodes in around your breast area and that could like cause panic for some women, but don't worry. It's just like, it's enlarged and then it'll go back to normal. Awesome. So yeah. those are just the things I wanted to bring up. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, um, we're 100% pro science and pro vaccine here at the Stevia show. Um, so we are excited for yes. our second doses. Um, so we will go ahead and move Super. on to Stevia sound off, which is a section where team Stevia sends us questions and takes good or bad. We don't care. And as long as they're within reason, everyone on the show will answer them. We post a weekly thread on our Instagram story and our Twitter, except for this week because we had a scheduling conflict. Uh, And we have a dedicated channel on our Discord for this section. So let's see what we have for this week. Oh, Professor JTAG wants to know, will the madness ever end? No. (sighs) You know... Is, is the madness the stevia shell madness because that's just an automatic no yeah <laughs> uh my life of madness no probably not uh the world of madness yeah no i think i think just the overarching answer is is no here it will right. never end yeah the madness will not end um i mean so- i guess it ends when you die <laughs> that was so poetic i guess it ends when you die hey i mean that that works it will i mean it'll it'll, it'll end all right um, and then, it ends all right you know <laughs> and then he wants to know um between turtwig chimchar or piplup because they are um, planning on doing a pokemon direct tomorrow uh friday uh so we will have missed that um and those were the three oh, starter yeah. pokemon for diamond and pearl um and i choose piplup the cute little penguin boy chimchar a chimchar they're all cute and then church just a little turtle you know they're all very cook yeah they're, yeah they're all very cute um so next up um i've always wanted to say this name um but because they have not asked us any questions uh so this is a vagina leon the magnamius uh wants to know um or the magnamius vagina leon the magnamius there we go boom second try uh wants to know we know the answer is 42. so i always i oh go ahead I always pronounce it as vagina lion, the ma- <laughs> magna, the magnamius, okay. vagina lion. I like but you're saying it's lion. what are you saying? It's uh, vagina you're, lion. You're saying it's vagina leon. Vagina, v- vagina leon. 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 Right. I think. I think. He oh told yeah. Me that's, See, uh, that's not how I. Yeah. Pronounce. I. Th- I think. I, I think he told me because because uh, because I know this person, <laughs> um, and he and I think he said that that's how you pronounce it. It's <laughs> vagina leon. I- yeah, well, his nickname in college well, was... Well, I'm glad to know that now. Yeah, well, his nickname in college was Vagines, which is neither here nor there. Yes, um, yeah. that's true. So that's why it's But that's Vagina even Leon, funnier that this Magnamius. whole time, every time I read it, it's Vagina Lion. That's me. I'm like, oh, yeah, Vagina Lion. Vagina Lion <laughs> honestly sounds better. I mean, that sounds like 
a, f a fearsome thing, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, they want to they want to know. We know the answer is forty two, but what is the question? Um, the question is, what is thirty six plus six? And the answer is forty two. Oh, I was gonna say, what is twenty one times two? Oh, there we go. All right, boom. Um, and then finally, Slam Smith. But we both went math ways. We but did. But really, we could do like. We know the answer is 42, but what is the question? And it could be like, how many buses were in the parking lot? 42. Ooh, it could be. It could be. It could have, It could not be a math question. I don't know. Yeah, no, the answer, like, the it, it's it's from, I think it's from a, t a show or a movie, but like 42 is the answer to life and everything is whatever um, the quote is. Uh, yeah. But I, but I just went, went a math route with, with it. Um, I then, love it. Me yeah. Too. And then finally, Slam Smith asks, uh, what is your favorite part about doing 1980X, which is our ongoing Dungeons and Dragons campaign? Uh, so, Lydia, what's your favorite part about it? Hmm. My favorite part is actually getting to hang out with Team Stevia for a little bit, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm very good at the game. I try to be... Uh, I try to be... I don't remember. I don't really know what the word is. I try to be what you're supposed to be in the game, but I always, it's just hard for me. So um, I think hanging out with Team Stevia is probably my favorite part. Gotcha. Um, my favorite part of it is I like streaming it and watching people in the chat, like say how much they hate Bryce and stuff like that. Uh, so that's oh, always yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, that's the part that I've been enjoying about it is seeing everybody's reaction and like following along with the story. Um, uh, Alec, one of you our know, friends. Yeah, the streams, they do love it. Right, yeah. So I do enjoy watching everybody uh, watching everybody like participate with it and how like like senpai he said that like bryce is a jerk and stuff like that because he is nobody likes bryce <laughs> except for hopero hopero playing no, the bryce villain is, the is so is she's so good at that um she's doing really good i'm very impressed she was with, fixing to fight our, she was fixing to fight our team it, uh last yeah, time she we was. played she was ready right. Right, and then I casted that uh, that ray of frost on the ground and totally messed everybody up. And then I got everybody out of detention too, so that it was made pretty cool. Everybody bust their asses except for me. Right, right, and then and then we sold the keys for detention. That was sweet. That was good. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it's been a good story so far. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, but I think that about does it for today, Team Stevia. Kind of a shorter episode. Um, but we enjoyed talking with you all as always. And be sure to follow us on all the social media platforms with the handle at The Stevia Show. Be sure to subscribe on the podcast on whichever podcast app you listen to. If you're on YouTube, just search for The Stevia Show and subscribe with the notification button. Make sure to check out our streams. We stream at least once a week. Streams can be found on Twitch at twitch.tv slash lidwins and twitch.tv slash stvn92. Follow us on all social media to find our stream schedules, which I've kind of been slacking on, sorry. Anchor and Patreon producers are able to join in on multiplayer streams as and well. Also, also, Steven and I are both affiliates. Yeah, I was fixing to congratulate you because you congratulated me um, on this oh, part last time. So I was yes. fixing this, yeah, that's why I had my hand up. I was like, yeah, Lydia oh. just hit it. I, I guess it kind of looked like I was stretching. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I, I've, yeah, got, I've, got, I've got really lanky arms. Like, I, like it's out here. Yeah, you have really <laughs> long. No, I was just going to say long arms, not lanky. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Arms, yeah. But also, you're a tall person. Yeah. I'm I think like... they're equal to your height, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, my, my wingspan. Yeah, I'm not too certain. But anyway, Lydia did hit affiliate. Uh, so congratulations to uh, Lydia. And it's all smooth sailing from here. And, and, and don't you already have your first sub, too? Like, I got I my first sub. Oh, I have my first two subs, actually. Oh, who was the second uh, person to sub to you? Because Sierra gifted a sub. Oh, rad. Austy Wasty. Nice. Um, so It's Dory subbed, and then It's Dory gave a sub to Austy Wasty, and so I have two subs. So nice. that was freaking cool. Um, And we've got emotes on the channel now uh, for subs and for donations, so that's exciting. And then Steven and I just put in a thing for new another new our emotes. Third for the Discord, Stevia so set. Yes, our third Stevia set. We're very we're excited. excited. We're excited. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we also have some more stuff coming in the pipeline. Um, we're working on something with a certain videographer. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, <laughs> wink wink. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 not wink wink. Because if I said certain videographer and then you said wink wink, that could be misconstrued. So it's a perfectly PG thing. Uh 
So how was that misconstrued? Oh. I have said wink, wink, because th- we've only ever had one videographer on the oh, show. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, like wink, <laughs> wink. You know who they are, probably uh, if you listen okay. to us okay. once a week. Yeah, my mind just went somewhere else, you and that's why. Get your head hey, whoa, out whoa, of the whoa, gutter! Whoa, whoa, oh whoa, my whoa. god! Hey, well, you, you, you asked guys, me. do you hear how fast he just tried to jump on the, on me for that? I was hey. like, what? <laughs> Hold the phone here, man. I'm almost, okay? almost certain that that's I'm what she about- said. <laughs> but oh okay well, 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 well you had your risque thing earlier so i guess this was mine so there we go we're one for one yeah i guess but mine wasn't that kind of risque no, mine it was wasn't. Like... but that's why i wanted to clear it up really quick and so it was like okay whatever yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. yeah we're, we're okay. yeah i want to clear it up too yeah. i was saying wink wink because okay. <laughs> we've only had one videographer on the show yeah. the last <laughs> five months right anyways it, well i mean alex uh, alex does video too but anyway whatever yes but we, he hasn't been on here in five months, I don't think. No, he hasn't. We should have Alec back on. Alec, come back on the show. We'd love to have you. Uh, have you on the show? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alec hasn't is not listening past this point because Alec just turns us off, probably. No, probably not. I think he listens. And if you're listening past this point, kudos to you. You got some extra bonus, Stephen right. and Lydia. Just then. you really did. This, this is like <laughs> classic Stevia right here because you, you know this like, is it. Like just bouncing off everywhere, stuff like that. Um, we also have merchandise available through our links in our bio and show notes. So whenever you visit us online, check out our link tree and click on merch, and we ship nationwide as well. And thank you to the following for supporting the Stevia Show. Bravado Wireless is your go-to when it comes to all things connected. Whether it's a new phone, home internet, or smart accessories, Bravado Wireless has it all. Right now, you can get a Samsung A11, Samsung 20 FE, or iPhone 11 and half the cost. That is right, Stephen. 50% off any of these phones throughout February. For more information, call your local Bravado Wireless store or head to bravadowireless.com. That is bravadowireless.com. Excellent. Um, As well as community members like you. Remember, you can support us on Anchor or Patreon for as little as 99 cents a month, and you get to have more Stevia content where we kind of go off the wall on our bonus episodes. Uh, so if you want to Always. know, yeah. So if you want to, if you want more of what uh, just happened with the videographer comment, um, feel free to sue us to support <laughs> us. And um, th- that's the kind of content you get on our bonus episodes. Literally. Also, Stephen, before we say goodbye, I do have one more thing. Oh, what? What's up? My dad texted. My dad texted me and said, "Tell Stephen I said hello." Oh, very nice. Well, tell Garland I say hello. <laughs> so. <laughs> So now dad is going to watch this and he's going to see it. And so, hi, dad. Yeah. Hey, Garland, what's up? He, 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 needs, <laughs> he, he needs to come back over and for chili. The- oh, I was just saying he needs to come back over for chili well, and cigars. Because that was a fun time after your yeah, wedding. Yeah, chili and cigars. Yeah. The, yes. C, the good old C&C, chili well, and know. cigars. I don't know when he's going to be back down here coming this way. He well, still has snow on the ground, so it might be a while. Oh, that's true. Thankfully, all our snow's melted. I'm, I feel a lot better now that it's melted. Oh. Yes, praise the Lord. PTO. Anyways, thanks, thanks, thanks everyone for being here and for listening to us ramble. Yeah, we appreciate you. We do appreciate it. Um, that's kind we of we really what... do it for you. You know. Yeah, <laughs> that's who we do it for. We do it for the team. The team. Um, we do it for the team. We do it for the team. Um, but for now, this is Stephen. And this is Lydia. <laughs> and we will see you all later. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>